thanks for being here. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, on-chain analysis, and I'm going to divide this presentation in a general review of what is uh, on-chain analysis, and the second part, I'm going to uh, have a practical part where I'm going to create some uh, tabroot outputs. Okay. Uh, Alguien habla español o seguimos en inglés? Okay, I'm going to I'm going to make it in in English. Okay. Great. So. <laughs> Spanglish. <laughs> Spanglish. Spanglish. Ok. <laughs> vamos a vamos a hacerla en Spanglish entonces. <laughs> vale, Spanglish. Ok. Well, um, in my view, there are uh, some kinds of on-chain analysis. Uh, I'm going to share with you uh, one of these. Uh, the first uh, blockchain analysis was made by Sergio Lerner, and he discovered a pattern in the blockchain called Patoshi. Um, this, uh, th this pattern uh, show us that uh, some entity belongs to uh, um, more or less uh, 1 million Bitcoin and is supposed to be Satoshi. Uh, this is created using a script that uh, parses uh, the, the blockchain data and uh, here you see how that pattern is seen in the, in the blockchain. Uh, this, is the, this is the link when you can uh, go to deep and, uh, and see more and more details. This could be the first um, blockchain analysis type. There are there are other other types. For example, in my case, uh, is for just curiosity or for learning. You can download all blocks to the, to the database and find some some uh, weird transactions or interesting transactions. In this case, for example, uh, someone spent uh, a transaction with one input and. 1,000 1, or more outputs, so it's a no typical transaction, and you can see these kind of transactions doing some some on-chain analysis. I'm going to, to to make this this part very fast because it's a general review. There are other companies that uh, create uh, some indicators trying to catch the bottom or top from the price. I don't know if they are successful or not, but. There are a lot of companies that are trying to, to create these, these indicators and use to the on-chain analysis. This is a, this is a, um, a picture that shows us how the um, on-chain analysis that uh, use this kind of, of analysis trying to create uh, entities. The, the objective of these companies is uh, uh, create clusters of entities where you put in Twitter, for example, your, uh, your, your, your Bitcoin address. What uh, these companies uh, perform is, a, is a, um, a process that associate data address with your entity, and in that way they can create all these clusters. This is a academic research, and they show the, how the, the Bitcoin is moved between exchanges, and they, they do this creating these clusters and put or manually or automatically using web scrap tools or something like that and create that, uh, that kind of, of clusters. These companies uh, do that mainly for business purpose. I mean, they sell this data to government agencies, tax agencies, and like that. They are able to, to see in the blockchain who is sending what coin to who, and they can uh, explain if it's a coin join or it's a normal transaction, 
for example, in this uh, in this image, they they can make uh, groups and put tags in in these um, tools. That, um, for example, this is a, a I, I don't know if if is, if is 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 an illegal service. For example, they put a tag inside the, these these groups, and mainly they perform this analysis to try to catch. Uh, illegal activities and sell the information to to aging governments. This is another example from a, a big cluster. They using these techniques um, is called Wallet Explorer. They have a lot of data. It's a big database, and I think that they have uh, a lot of mainly all exchanges that uh, sell and buy Bitcoin. Uh, they know where these exchanges are sending Bitcoin or, or not. And this is the, the more popular uh, blockchain analysis company. It's called Chain Analysis. Uh, they are able to create uh, clusters or graphs, daily bracks, to, to trust the origin of from, a, from a coin. And they can uh, make groups putting tags to, to these uh, transactions. How how they this work? Well, uh, as we as we see yesterday, there are assumptions or heuristics that they use to to make these these clusters. There are the, um, the, the this is the the, the, the main uh, heuristics. Uh, this is the, the is described in the in the Satoshi paper. It's called the common input uh, ownership. It says basically that all inputs that are in a, in a transaction belongs to the same entity. This is not exactly in that way because we can create a coin joint transaction and mix uh, transactions from different people. Mm, the second heuristic is, uh, is a, a chain address. It's a typical transaction where you see that it has two outputs, okay? And one of them has a, a lower value and it's a new uh, address created. In that moment, it's a new address created. So mainly, it's a change address. It's uh, easily to see in the, in the blockchain. There are another uh, Eurixis, for example, wallet fingerprint that uh, we see yesterday, for example, in, in another talk about a uh, few rates. Or, for example, in Bitcoin Core, I think that uh, later than 0.18, is using use uh, error low values, so they can see that uh, if you are using that kind of wallet, it's because you are using Bitcoin Core. There are another uh, consumer heuristic. is uh, is called this that way because it uh, says what kind of user is uh, performing the, the transaction. For example, mm, in this slide. This is a block uh, from few few years, but mainly if you can see, uh, almost the, the this percentage of, of transactions has uh, two outputs. I mean that is a is a very common ownership uh, heuristic in this block. So is 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 so easy to to detect who is using that that uh, that Bitcoin. There are another kind of transactions where, for example, in an exchange, uh, are, are consolidating a lot of coins and people are withdrawing to own wallets, are, are, are transactions that have a lot of inputs and a lot of outputs. So you can see that uh, that transaction belongs to exchange if it has that characteristics. And the last one is the, the peeling uh, heuristic. It's uh, when a, a big a big amount of Bitcoin starts to to send to, to, to many transactions. This is the way like it is. Uh, but uh, it, it's no easy to catch. But um, at the end, uh, they trying to, to divide a lot of Bitcoin, and finally they try to put in a in a one one address. So uh, it's it's, uh, it's easy to to trace uh, again. 
Well, uh, the name of this talk is about how could Tabroot improve the Bitcoin privacy from an uh, on-chain uh, perspective. So I'm going to explain uh, in a general way what is Tabroot, uh, how it works, uh, and the last part I'm going to create two, two outputs. Tabroot is a, a new version of, uh, of, of transactions that we can create in the Bitcoin core. Uh, it has mainly two ways to spend. You can spend using the keypad or the script pad. I'm going to, to detail in this. When you, w when you are spending using the, the keypad, uh, this means that you can spend using a single public key or a multi-sig public key. And uh, in the blockchain, it seems like a, a, a normal transaction. You can distinguish if it's a, a old transaction. The other way is an uh, alternative uh, spending pact. I mean, you can put spending conditions on a taproot tree, so you can hide uh, many of these spending conditions, and when you are uh, trying to spend, you only have to reveal the specific uh, tree that you are uh, spending. This could be uh, one use case that Tabroot, for example, in this uh, image, you can see that uh, using XNOR signatures, you can aggregate public keys, no? So you can uh, have, for example, uh, two of three multi-seq. In the default path, you will have uh, two, two keys, and the three one you will have in one of the leaves. So for example, you will use a scroll service and you will have one key for you, uh, another key for a scroll service, and you put that in the default path. And a three key, a backup key, you will put it in a, in a script path. So it's, it's a new way for expanding. Uh, this is not possible before Tabroot. And uh, it's, a, um, it's a challenge for uh, uh, on-chain analysis companies because you can create a lot of combinations. I mean, you can put a lot of uh, scripts here and you can mix. If, it, if, if, if the wallet creates a lot of combinations, it, it will be challenged for, for um, making an analysis. How, how works the, the, the P2, pay to tab root output? Mm, normally, we, we know that uh, the, 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 the first address uh, use XPrev, the second address use uh, uh, XPrev, uh, YPrev, XPrev. Uh, this thing is not uh, usable in, in Taproot. Mm, now you have to use simple uh, a public key and a private key. This could be how we can see uh, a tabroot output uh, could see in the, in the blockchain. The, the default spending path is, uh, could be a single public key or, or it could be a, a multi-sig public key. Um, but if you, if you look on uh, the, the blockchain, it will see like a normal transaction. You can distinguish it's a, a multi-sig. Or you can have um, I uh, think that's called uh, tweak public key. It's a way to modify the public key, the, the internal public key, and put that in a tree where you will have a lot of leaves with spending conditions uh, as alternative. This is, the, this is the trap tree, and we are going to create one of these inputs in the, in the practical part. How, how is created the, the tree? It's a... Um, a new, a new thing called a tab tweak. A tab tweak is a, is a way to modify a public key and uh, using the internal public key and using the XNOR signatures, you can put uh, a, a big number of leaves. I don't, I can say the number because it's very, very big. I, using the, this tab tweak, you can put a lot of scripts in the, in the tree. All objects inside the tab root tree uh, have, have has an attack, so you have to, to put, for example, in this in this case, tab tweak, and you put inside the hash the tab branch.
So, for example, this is the this is the the the, the, the main tab tree, and you will have a hash that you have to put a tag before saying that it's a tab tweak from a, a public key from this this object at that branch. Uh, and, and the same way, this this tab branch is created, but to to leaves. This leaves that is in the same way a tab branch, A B in this tab branch has two leaves, and a script and a script B B. The the the, the public key, the internal public key. Okay. Yes. When you when you create the tab tweak, the tab tweak you are tweaking, modifying the internal public key, and you create the the, the object T. It, it is a hash that contains all of this, and you, you can you can have a, a lot of levels here, and you can go for this path or this path or, or whatever. It's uh, it's up to you or or, or what, what your wallet uh, make. Um, for for example, here this is a script C, and you can go directly by here. And when you spend this tab root output, you will only see in the blockchain this uh, this script. All, all the rest will be hidden from the from the observer. And and that's it. Uh, I'm going to to create the, the tab root outputs, or if anyone has uh, questions or want to mention something ah oh, but i need my i need my <laughs> yeah this one but i don't have uh, Well, um, this is the steps that you have to create a default path. For example, this is an environment in REC test. You will have to create a taproot uh, wallet. Is, is, this is the name. Uh, USB. Uh, this one has a HDMI. It is all. I'm going to edit it in a, in a machine that I have in the internet, so I think I can do that. But it's okay, I can do it here. This is a machine in the internet.
Okay. I'm going to use uh, testnet. Mm, the example is prepared for rec test, but I'm going to use testnet because in the online machine I don't have a rec test. Mm, I'm going to, to create in the steps, okay? I'm going to, to create the taproot wallet. It has uh, a tablet, like a new one. Okay, I created an internal wallet in, uh, in Bitcoin Core. It's called Tablet New. Okay, uh, the server says that a Tablet wallet uh, already exists. I created uh, an example a few days ago. Now I'm going to to use uh, a tool, a Rust tool called BDC, B B B uh, CLA. It's a a, a Rust uh, tool to create uh, wallets. Okay. I'm using a um, uh, system bar, okay? I'm going to to show that uh, bar. This command create me a, an, uh, a private key, okay? Uh, this, this one is BDC, BDK CLI generate and put in a system bar called XPRV, okay? Now, now I'm going to create a, a call, I think called a taproot descriptor. When you when you are using the um, the tablet outputs in Bitcoin Core, you you cannot create it in the normal way. So you have to create a taproot descriptor. There is a way is a um, a way to say to make to, to Bitcoin Core that you are creating a kind of wallet, a specific kind of wallet, and you have to use taproot descriptor. This taproot descriptor uh, it's a function, and I'm going to pass uh, as a parameter the the private key. I'm then going to use the the this derivation path is the is the one from BIP eighty six and is used for mm, for tablet outputs. Okay. So what I done is create a, 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 a descriptor, passing the private key, and passing the duration path. Now we have to extract the, the, the checksum to later import this, all this string in, in Bitcoin Core. Okay, it it put in that uh, bar the the checksum. Okay, now I'm going to to add those values in in one string.
Now, as you can see, this same bar has the tab root descriptor plus the, the checksum, okay? Now, I'm going to, uh, to create an internal descriptor, okay? To put in the, in the wallet using the, the public key, using this command, okay? Now I'm going the same the thing thing. I'm going to, to add those values in one string to later import in the in the in the wallet. Now I'm going to use the private key to create a pop key using the, the same derivation path. Okay, now. I'm trying to use the, that wallet, the old wallet. I have to change here the, the wallet is called Tabroot New. That's the problem. Perfect. I, I got um, both descriptors internally in the, in the Tabroot wallet. Now I'm going to create a Tabroot address using this, this kind of uh, of uh, it's, it's a, a new version, I mean. Again, I have to use the root new wallet. And it's not rectus, it's testnet, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Now I have um, an address using uh, the tab group descriptors that uh, was created using that private key and that public key. Now I can send Bitcoin to that address and we will have to use the private key to sign a new transaction to spend this, this, uh, this money. This is, this is the way that uh, we call the default spending path. You can use a single public key or a, a multi-sig um, signature. Now, I'm going to, to create a tab root, uh, output, but using the script path. This is not possible to do using only Bitcoin Core because I have to hash all the objects and put uh, a hash at the beginning of the each if object. So I'm going to use um, 
a tool called BTC Dev. It's created by Call, a Bitcoin uh, developer. I hope that is still here. Perfect. So as I said before, um, we don't have a, a derivation path from this case. We will simply use a pub key and a private key. So I'm going to use uh, this uh, option internally in BTC Dev to create a, a, a private key using the word Alice. So this is the hash from from this uh, this uh, the, the Alice. Okay, this is I'm going to use as a as a private key. Now I'm going to obtain using the the same uh, function. I'm going to obtain the pub key from that uh, private key. Okay, this is the this is the x value from my pub key, from my private key Alice. Okay, now I'm going to uh, create a new pub key that is will be the internal pub key that I will going to use in the in the script. I'm going to use the the, the word internal. Perfect. I have the, um, the, the the pub key, the internal pub key, and now I'm, I'm going to create the the leaves. I'm going to put these uh, simple scripts inside each leaf. It's a old style uh, Bitcoin script. And I'm going to use a tool called BTCC. It's a, like a compiler. I have to go to the to the shell, and I'm going to create this. Okay, now I have the um, the value from that leaf that I'm going to put as a leaf inside the tree. I'm going to use the other case, I think it's 2 plus 2. Yes, and it should be 4. Okay. Now I'm going to I'm going to to create this part, the objects from this part, these ones. I'm going to 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 hash uh, the, the the tab leaves using that values. For perform tab, I use that uh, this uh, option is called tag hash, and tab leaf. And you have to put these values that the uh, before commands give us. This value is the same, okay. Now I have the, oh sorry, it's the same value. 
Yes. I have to change it. I have both hashes from both leaves, this one and uh, this one. Now I'm going to to create the tab branch. I mean, I'm going to to create this one hash, okay? And I use this uh, this command, and I'm going to pass both values. Got it. I have created the tab branch using uh, the first leaf and the second leaf. This is the hash from the from the tab branch. Now I'm going to to tweak with my pub key that tab branch. Top key and the top branch. The top branch is this. Got it. Now I have now the top tweak using the pop key and the top branch. This is the value. Now I'm going to to tap top tweak the pop key. Now I have to to put. Uh, I have the tab tweak. Okay. Now I am going to. Mm, sorry, 
I'm going to check because I'm not sure. Now I have to, to use this, this option. Um, I'm going, as, as I have the, the poop key, the tweaked poop key, now I can create a, an address to send, uh, to send some Bitcoin. So I'm going to use this uh, command to create, to encode this uh, tab, tweaked poop key as an address. Okay, now I have, I created an, uh, an address using the batch 32M code uh, using that tweak it pub key. So internally in this address, uh, we have to uh, accomplish um, uh, the, 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 the default spending path or whatever from two, two leaves. I will have to, to spend using these scripts, for example, or we have to to accomplish this script, or using the 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 single path, and that's it. I think that is finished. Now we can send some Bitcoin to to this address, but uh, the exercise finished here because uh, I created all, all the steps uh, showing how can create a taproot output using the default path or the the script but in this case it has two two scripts so um, that's it i think that That's it. I think that I can, like uh, the, the, the example is using rec testnet, um, so I know I'm not going to, to put the, this part because I'm using I'm using testnet here. So um, that's it. Uh, the exercise is finished. So if you have any questions or it's uh, it's complicated. I mean. <laughs> Yeah, um, maybe uh, this is a good. Where is the? I don't have the browser here, but there, there is a, a blog from. Uh, uh, I don't remember the name. I will pass the in the in the chat group. They explain uh, very well uh, how works Taproot and they create examples and the bips the bips in Bitcoin repo. I think that uh, is a good start. And uh, I wrote an um, an article talking about the default spending path a few months ago. So it's a good way to to start. Um, Okay.
this article is in Spanish and uh, it creates a, it has a, a general explanation from what Tabroot is, what BIPs are, are using, and finally, uh, are the steps to create a Tabroot output using the default path. Um, I'm going to create a new article using uh, showing the, the script path, and I think this is a this is a good way to understand what what is going on with with Tabroot. Uh, and the bips, I I mean, here is all explained very well. So that's it. Thank you.